It seems like for the past two years now, the only thing that sneakerheads have been talking about is New Balance and how they're so comfortable. You can wear them all day. They're stylish. And me personally, I do not like New Balances. So today we're going to see if these dad shoes actually live up to the hype or if it's just a trend. Are these the most comfortable sneakers ever made? I don't know. But today we're going to find out. As you guys know, I have a pretty big sneaker collection, but it is 95% Jordan. I don't have any New Balances. I don't have any Asics. I don't have any running, walking, comfy type shoes besides like Yeezys, but you know. And all I've been hearing about for the past year is about how New Balances are so comfortable. They're the best thing ever. And to be honest, I'm kind of like the biggest New Balance hater. I just am not really a fan. It's not my style. I like the retro OG Jordans. So yesterday I bought my first pair of New Balance. These are the 2002R. I don't know any of the New Balance models or anything like that. But today we're in Los Angeles and I have a full day on my feet. So we're going to see how comfortable New Balances actually are and how they work for my feet. And for those of you who don't know, I have metal screws and plates in my ankles because of an injury I had a few years ago. So this will be a pretty good test. Normally when I wear Jordans and I'm on my feet all day, it's a bad day. So let's see what these New Balances are all about. And we're filming in a hotel room. So you guys just have to bear with me. Honestly, first impressions. I absolutely hate the laces on these. They're not great, but this is the first time I'm actually putting these on feet. I didn't even try these on when I bought them. And to be honest, they're all right. They feel pretty stiff. I don't know if I have to break them in. So hopefully throughout the day, they will like break in and I don't know. I'm not a New Balance guy. So there's two main factors I wanted to cover in this video. Wearability and the comfort. Because for me, when it comes to wearability, New Balances just aren't really my style. I like to wear retro Jordans. I have my own kind of style that's like streetwear and vintage kind of combined. And honestly, I don't think New Balances match my style. When it comes to everyday wearability, I like to go for like a Jordan 4, a Jordan 1, because I feel like those match with just about every style. But in my personal opinion, I feel like New Balances, you kind of have to have a certain style for that. And that is not really my style. And that's one of the reasons I went with the all cream colorway of this, because I feel like it's going to make it a lot easier for me to actually wear them. Also on a side note, the materials on these New Balance sneakers are actually surprisingly very, very good. And for those people like me who buy a lot of Jordans and Nike Dunks and stuff like that, the quality is very hit or miss. Nowadays, it seems like you only get good quality when it comes to a collab sneaker, but the retail stays the same. So it doesn't really make sense. So the fact that the majority of these New Balances that I was looking at have good quality, that's kind of a good sign. But for price and quality, I thought it was a pretty good bang for your buck. And the retail is a lot lower than most Jordan sneakers. And that's pretty much all that I bought. All right, so we have been wearing these for quite a while now. I've done a lot of walking. We're at a sneaker store now. We just filmed this whole little game with the little cyber quad, the Tesla four-wheeler. And to be honest, they are kind of breaking in a little bit. Like I was kind of worried at first because I have very flat feet, like flat and wide feet. So a lot of the athletic shoes don't really fit me like they should, if that makes sense. Like a lot of the comfortable shoes that people always recommend are not very comfortable for me. So I also have ankle issues and stuff like that. So my go-to is Yeezy 350 V2s because they're flat, they're wide, and they're pretty comfortable for my style of feet. So that's why I was kind of worried about these New Balances, but honestly, they feel pretty good. I feel like I broke them in quite a bit. They feel like, I, I think they feel like they should now, because when I first put them on, they were pretty stiff. But we still got a lot more walking to do at the airport, fly back home, so I will pick it up when we get back home. And when it comes to comfort, I am very picky about my comfortable shoes. I mentioned it in the video that I have very flat and wide feet, and I have very bad ankle problems due to injuries and surgeries that I've had. So certain athletic sneakers or running sneakers, stuff like that don't really work well for my feet because for the most part, they have a really big arch and they're very narrow. And that's the opposite of what I need for comfort. And I mentioned in the video that they felt like they need to be broke in, which I kind of agree with that. Some people are not gonna agree with that, but I felt like when I first put them on my feet, they felt very stiff and not really like that cloud comfort that I was expecting, I guess. But the more I wore them throughout the day, I felt like they kind of broke in a little bit and became a little bit more cushiony, if that makes sense. 
sense. And with doing a little bit of research about New Balance technology, I was able to find that these come with an elastic gel type sole, meaning that there is no air bubble. And for the most part with Air Maxes and Jordans, they have air bubbles in them. So it was a very different feeling than I'm used to, but honestly, I kind of liked it. And the newer New Balance 2002Rs, which is what I got, come with an NRG sole. The sole that they put that's mainly in the heel is meant for shock absorption and comfort, which is really cool and it helped me throughout the day because normally at the end of the day, my feet are kind of exhausted. And I didn't really feel that way with these New Balances. All right, so we've been wearing these pretty much all day now. And to be honest, they're pretty nice. And they're not like the craziest thing in the world, but they're definitely like a lot better than any Jordan, if I had to say. But we still have a lot more traveling to go. So I don't know exactly how it's gonna end, but to be honest, my, my feet, they ain't feeling too too bad right now. That's the only two shoes that I brought on this trip were the off-white Jordan 4s and the off-white Blazers. And those are like the two most uncomfortable shoes. And I've been doing a lot of walking in LA. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick these up and make this video and see what, what we're talking about here. So, because every Every time I make a video and talk about like comfort or shoes or anything like that, everybody says you have to get the New Balances, the New Balances. So that's exactly what I did. And we've been doing a whole lot of walking. And I think it, it, it was a good investment for my feet, I think. Because usually when I travel and do a lot of walking like this, I wear the slides. The Yeezy slides are like my go-to when it comes to comfort or any sort of traveling. So it's weird wearing shoes because I've literally been wearing Yeezy slides to the airport for like two years now. But I think I like them. And the second that I land and get home, I'm going to put the different laces in these because I do not like the the like bungee ones. They're not, not my swag at all. But we'll pick up when we get there. And now after a full 24 hours of wearing New Balances, and yes, I wore them the following day to make up for the 24 hours. I can honestly say that they are extremely comfortable and I'm excited to wear these more and adapt my style to these sneakers a little bit more opposed to just the standard Jordan, Nike Dunk, Air Maxes that I normally wear. And coming from the biggest New Balance hater like myself, I can honestly say these were worth every dollar that I spent on these. And I know all the people out there that already love New Balances and buy them frequently, they're going to be like, dude, I know we've been trying to tell you, but even though they're not my style, I'm definitely going to try to wear these a lot more. I think these are amazing sneakers and I definitely recommend a pair to anybody who hasn't tried them yet, like myself. And that is pretty much it for today's video. If you like this, drop a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post. I'm trying to get back on the momentum of long videos again. I post shorts pretty much every single day, but the long videos I have been slacking. So we're going to try to get back into that. Also, the merch is still 50% off. I did this for Black Friday, but I decided to carry it over to Christmas because I know a lot of people would like that as a Christmas gift. So 50% off. This is the lowest I've ever sold a t-shirt ever. And I mean it. And that being said, guys, I love you guys so much. Don't be a New Balance hater. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.